These litigants are actors. Well, they're not even actors. The cases aren't real. In fact, the court isn't even real. Oh my goodness. Why am I even saying this? You do it because I tell you to do it. Because I'm real. I'm Judge Tingle. Judge Tingle is real. It don't get no realer than that. This is the plaintiff, Mr. Leroy Brown. His kindness has been taken for weakness, and that ends now. This is the defendant, Fran Faker, and she's here today to prove that she can keep it real. All right, cell phones down. Court is now in session. Judge Tingle side. Thank you, Edie. Hey, would you say that so professionally every single time? You know what? I'm gonna be rolling all over this court, and Eddie, all you do is eat around here. Mommy, see, I've been seeing the extra meat since I made it. Sure. And I just been gaining weight, too, just been gaining. Show. Show. The show, my bad. The show. I almost forgot about the case, Eddie. Lord Jesus. No, we're good, sir. Well, they forgettable. They so forgettable. They forgettable. They forgettable. They forgettable. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Today's case is in regards to one Mr. Leroy Brown. And one Miss uh, Fran Faker. I would like to welcome you both to this courtroom. Uh, I will give you the opportunity to induce, introduce yourself. Miss Faker, if you would. I'm Fran Faker, and I don't know why I'm here, Your Honor, so I want to figure it out as well. All right. Mr. Brown? Yeah, I'm Leroy Brown from around town. You know how I get down. You don't look like you can get down, do we? <laughs> I think you get around, but I don't get Well... I would like to welcome you both to the courtroom. Uh, Mr. Brown, it's you who have brought us here today. Can you tell us what's going on with this alleged case? I sure can. Because she a catfish. A what? A big old catfish. A big old what? A big old catfish. Look at her. Her hair even looks like catfish. Hold on, hold on, man. You see that? She a cat or a fish? She can't be both. Well, I know, right? But calm down because I think a catfish, I think I know what that is. I think Mr. Brown is saying that Miss Faker is being dishonest. Oh, Am I right, Mr. Brown? That's right. That's absolutely right. She was being dishonest about everything, Your Honor. Everything. Well, I want to hear about this big old goldfish. Judge. <laughs> okay. Hey, stop school, nigga. I don't want to be telling you where I go. Then you try to correct me in the court. It makes me look bad. Stop. Okay, I want to hear about this big old catfish. <laughs> but first, you got to tell me, where'd you meet at? On COD, you're on. COD? Absolutely. I'm not familiar with COD. You're going to have to elaborate. This stands for Catch of the Day. Catch of the Day? Eh? Absolutely. Catch of the Day. I ain't never heard of that, sir. You're going to have to elaborate. Uh, well, Your Honor, uh, it's, a, it's a dating website on the internet. You know, uh, it should be called Bait and Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Dating switch. Eddie, what you know about a dating site anyway? Uh, well, see, what happened was I was on there doing something for a case, you know, uh, one fish, two fish, blue fish, red fish, who you knows? Eddie, baby, you're not a detective, you're a bay look. Oh, gosh, I have told you anyway. Miss Faker, were you indeed fishing on this COD when you ran into Mr. Leroy Brown? <sighs> it's sad but true, Your Honor. I was online fishing for a respectable companion, and look how I ended up. Now I'm in court. Oh my goodness, girl. You got a one, didn't you? No. <laughs> you was lucky to meet me. Look, young. You can see who got the short end of the straw. The long straw, the wrong straw, and all the straws. Oh, I got the short straw. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. It sounds like fraud. Is this fraud, Mr. Brown? It is complete. Are you calling him, Mr. Ms. Baker, fraud? Judge. In her profile picture, it was, <laughs> it was nice. I mean, it was uh, two nice scoops. And she showed up with the droopy scoops. Look at the look at the droopy scoops. Oh, the droopy scoops. They swinging here. Keep it up. <laughs> it is funny. Eddie, calm down. Calm down. Mr. Brown, though, I do see your disappointment over there. 
But there's nothing I can do about droopy scoops. Come on now. That's Mother Nature's business. That's not this board's. Well, I'm suing her for money, Your Honor. I'm suing her for the money I've sent her. But she, she duped me. I'm talking about... I got pictures. She was all pretty in the pictures. And then she showed Still up here. like this. Still you know? here. This thing sitting pretty in the pictures. You've already told us that. <laughs> you couldn't find a bigger fish to fry. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can leave my scoops up out of this for real, like I'm not standing here. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. It really was. <laughs> it was a good one. Uh, but I'm going to have to agree with Miss Faker. We're going to have to leave her scoops out of this. That's Mother Nature's problem. Mr. Brown, do you have any evidence, anything that you... Why do you feel the need to sue Miss Faker? Well, I'm suing her for, uh, for uh, being fake. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Mr. Brown, you didn't see any signs that Miss Fran Faker was a fake. Absolutely not, Your Honor. No clue at all. No, she's a professional con artist. What? You're a dummy. You say you get Well, Mr. Brown, since you didn't see any signs of her being a fake. I guess we'll have to move along with this case. Yeah, he's so he's real slow. So when is the first time that you noticed any red flag? When I saw her face in person, Your Honor. This is not the same face as in them pictures. This face is chiseled and all kind of other stuff going on. Oh, I can't wait till my turn. Yeah, take your time. Them scoops look nice today, though. Yeah, they look nice. Well, you know. I am Leroy Brown. So I like to put the scoops on the cone and then you lick it off. Bring me to court. That's all I know. Lock her up, throw away the key. Oh. I lower your voice, sir. Before I lower you. Oh, Eddie, Eddie, calm down. That's not. That's not necessary. I got to let up. I, I got to get my. I got to get my chance. I know. I know you want to hurt somebody, but calm down. It is not necessary here, Mr. Brown. This is not a civil uh, suit, okay? Nobody's going to jail today. Please uh, pull yourself together and finish your testimony. Yeah, finish test line, Mr. Brown. Miss Faker, we're going to get to you. Calm down, okay? okay quiet, Mr. Quiet. Brown, you were saying that Miss Faker had misrepresented herself. Now, please, am I correct? <laughs> that's exactly what you see the pictures and you see her. That's exactly what she did, Your Honor. Do they look the same? Do they look the same, Your Honor? Okay, well, thank goodness we've agreed on something. Finally. That's a nice way of putting it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, she was a cake. Uh, we know now she was catfishing, right? She was fake. All right, we've gotten that far. Now, do you have any proof about this money? She owed me 300 big ones. I'm not paying them. For some phone bills, yeah. I pulled the money out of my 401k. I would have never did that for the scoop. You did that. The droopy ones, anyway. Do you have any proof that you sent Miss Piper this money? I absolutely do, Your Honor. Somewhere over here. Eddie, grab that. Hmm. That's a lot for the, for the juice, but I still can say that. Is that right? what that is? Okay. Well, what we have here, let's see this. This is indeed a Western Union for 300 big ones, as Mr. Brown would say. Uh, indeed sent to you, Miss Faker. Now, did you receive this money from Mr. Brown? Yes, Your Honor. I did receive the money. He agreed to pay my phone bill. I didn't ask him to pay my phone bill. He offered to pay. Offered means I don't got to pay you back. Well, that was before I knew her hips didn't dip. They dipped off. She told me she had a big old booty. Looked like she on that new drug. Oh, what's that? No acetal. Oh, my goodness. I heard about that. I heard about that. They, I took that. They, they, they on that drug now. They on that. They on that. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Oh, Mr. Brown. Please let Miss Baker speak. Go ahead, Miss Baker. No, no, Your Honor. I never said I had a big old boot. What, what did I you say? Was, Your Honor, is that I got a big old boot. Oh. That's what I got. Boot. You was thinking booty. I didn't see it. I, well, technically, we ain't seen it all, considering like, that she's on this. No ass at all. So, we seen no ass at all. So, you really ain't seen nothing here, did you? No. Nothing at all. Ain't seen nothing. Is there anything else you wanted to add, Miss Fred? Only thing I want to just clear is I'm not a faker. Now, at the time, those were my scoops. 
But as you can see, life goes on and that I can't make up for things that happen with life. You know, that's women's duties. But he offered to pay the phone bill. I didn't tell him to give me the money. And that's not my fault. He read between the lines. Now, all of a sudden, that he can't get in his boot. He want to bring me to court and try to take that money back. And I don't have it. I rest my case. It, 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 why is your hand raised? I'd like to cross-examine the witness and uh, see if I can fit that boot. Oh my God. Is it a ten and a half? Oh it's Eddie. 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 Baby, you are the bailiff, not a lawyer. Yeah, I got the juice, baby. You got the lemon. Please oh, act God. accordingly. I'm to Eddie, put that shirt right. back up right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, anyways, there is no need for cross-examination here. None at all. I knew today was going to be some more he say, she said. So I, Miss Tingle, looked into this case myself. Now, Miss Fran Faker, is it safe to say that you uh, got into a little more than what you intended? Yes, ma'am, that's fair to say. Uh, Mr. Lee Boy Brown, is it say you got more than your bargain for? Way less. Don't. Way, I'm talking about way less, you know. Everything was less than it was supposed to be. I understand. Well, Mr. Brown, my question to you is, sir, what did you even, what did, was you even doing casting your pole out there anyway? Well, I'm a man, your honor. I was uh -huh. just looking for some companionship. Well, now, there's not a damn thing wrong with seeking companionship, is it, Eddie? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Unless, unless, Mr. Brown, you already had a companion. Uh-huh. Did you already have a companion? Because I found a certificate of marriage, Mr. Brown, on file for you. Yes, it appears that you were already married when you were catfishing with Miss Fran Faker over here. Oh, my goodness, you faker than me. I knew he was a dummy. Yeah. Now yeah, you something wrong with your chest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you having a heart attack? Do we need to call the medics? Are you going to be okay, Mr. Brown? Because according to this document, you are married. Now, I'm not going to call your wife in here today because I didn't want to turn it up my courtroom. I got a nice courtroom here, Eddie. She would have come here. Honey, I would have looked her up on Facebook. She's a mean. She's mean. Look at him sweating. Yeah, I, 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 thank you. I'm you truly sorry, you know. Please. Please don't call her. I promise I won't go fishing no more. All right, Eddie, do me a favor. Get this trash out. I mean, take this gentleman to my chambers and talk to him after. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, honey. No, I stop all that giggling, Miss Brain. Because you done slid through her today by the skin of your teeth. Yes, you did, girl. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is suggest you get a new hobby. Oh, my goodness. Girl, and reach down deep. Dig, your, dig up some self-esteem. My goodness. Lord, Eddie, make sure she gets advantage of that good counseling we got in the back. Okay? Sign her up for that. You take advantage of that. We pay good money for that counseling. Oh, crazy. I mean, these really? nice folks. <laughs> you get some of that counseling and look, sign her back up. In six months, we want you swing back through here. We're going to see if you're still trying. Yes, okay? Swing. Swing. All right. What the heck? Yeah, all right. No, she ain't going to swing back. See all right, this case is dismissed. And then me, just I like the scoops personally. You know, I lift that money. We're here at uh, Judge Tingle's courtroom, and I'm about to ask. Mr. Leroy Brown, quick question. So, Mr. Brown, how you going to be an old school player out there uh, on a dating site when you marry? Fifth. I plead the fifth. I guess that's the only question I have for Mr. Brown. Next up, we're going to talk to uh, Mrs. Faker. So, you don't feel like you owe Mr. Leroy back his money for the phone bill? No, that's what he get for catfishing on Catch of the Day. He got caught. He paid the bill. He offered. I don't pay nobody back nothing when they offer to pay. So, uh, you plan on uh, looking for another little sugar daddy? I'll get back on there. I am going to get on Catch of the Day, and I'll put updated pictures of the droop scoops, and I'll bet you I still pop. Bam. Because uh, it looked like uh, Bailey Eddie was 
after them school. I'm about to go see him right now and leave from here. Everybody understands good quality titties when they see it. Well, that'll be the questions of the day. And uh, I'm Mr. Johnson, and that's it for Judge Tangle Court. That one character, Lee Boy Brown. <laughs> Lord, we ain't gonna talk about Lee Boy today. Oh, Lee Boy thought he was gonna come through here and trick me like I didn't know he was married. Nah, he tried it. <laughs> See, Lee Boy, what you call a rolling stone. See, at least I don't think he rolled all the way. He might have rolled once or twice, but. Well, he ain't rap tight. I know that. He sure ain't rap. I don't know how I've seen a couple of loose ends. Yeah. And what about Droopy Scoops? Oh, my God. Hey, now, you can say what you want about the Scoops, but I ain't going to lie. I kind of like them. You know, the Scoops is what I use to eat with my Rotel dip anyway. So, I love Scoops. Eddie, they were swinging so low. You can't do nothing with them. Swing low. Swing low. Dude, they low, was low, 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 low. low, low, low. How low, low can you go? Low? Hey, I can go How low. low can I can, I'm telling you, I get on my back and die she for them. Well, you did, didn't you? I, I thought sure you was fucking with her in the green room. I seen that. Hey, ain't nothing wrong. Man. You see a young buck like this, you know, it do something to him, and you know, once I put my eyes on it, things just got the swinging and swinging. Calm and down, Eddie. Calm down. It wasn't all that. What did Mr. Brown say when I had you throw him out the court? Matt, listen. Now, these are the times I need a gun. Now, when I grabbed him by his shirt, all I seen was crack. Now, he's oh, seven, he seven feet. I'm 5'9". Mm -hmm. So, all that crack was just in my way. Now, so, I take that as, you know, that's resistance. That's offensive to Because the whole time, I'm running from that. I'm not... If and I had given you a gun, you would have shot his crack. I would have shot, no shot him. I would have knocked the goatee off his crack. Eddie, what you need a gun for? You can't just shoot these people when they come to court like that. You know, Gianna, uh, sometimes in life, uh, what? you know, two hands don't really get us as far. So what, you just going to shoot up the courtroom? Gonna and every time somebody judge. says something, you're just going to shoot them. Lord, you're going to have to shoot the whole room. I'm going to have to shoot them, Judge. You have to take them all now out. you ask another question, you can get one, too. Oh, watch yourself now. <laughs> I'm thuggish. Okay.